G'day, I'm Ty. G'day, I'm Ralph. Welcome to Geoterex. Outdoors Australia. I was browsing uh, the Tent World store in Fishwick in Canberra uh, last week, looking to replace the Denali backpack that I use as my day pack, my camera bag. It just wasn't uh, sophisticated enough and didn't have enough um, storage options to carry all the gear that I wanted to carry and, um, and keep it separated. So I started looking at Anaconda and various places and looking at prices and, and seeing what was uh, available. And I went to Tent World and I uh, saw this particular brand here, um, this Sports Trek. And, and I looked at this bag hanging up and, and was really, really impressed with the, uh, the engineering and just the straight out design of this backpack. And it has so many features and so well thought out, I thought, I'll give this a try. And I took it off the rack and I went, hang on, it's obviously something in here. This pack weighs in, that it, it feels like it's over two kilos, probably two and a half kilos. Nothing in it. Unfortunately, fantastic design, but it's, it's got last generation materials. And some of them don't work particularly well either. I thought I'd, uh, I'd get it anyway, it was on a special and there was a number of packs uh, in different sizes and I got this particular Apollo 65, so the Denali's the 40 um, and I'll put the description of that video up in the corner here, but I just needed something, as I said, a bit bigger and so yep, I thought okay, I'll give it a try um, and I thought I'd, uh, I'd show you the bag and show you some of the features. Okay, so looking from the top, we've got some adjustment straps which we'll go through in detail a little, a little in a sec. They, uh, they're all there. We've got this webbing here, which um, Ty tells me you can actually thread through and reconfigure. It's, the excess length on that is, uh, is generous, but I'm um, not sure if it's exactly useful. It's got a couple of clip up or clips here that you can clip this hood up and I'll push that hood up out of the way it's got another clip in there to secure all the contents and compression I compress it down it's a bit of a compression strap got this uh, drawstring here which unfortunately is that the material is made from rubberized plastic and it's really stiff and I actually can't use the drawstring I can't make it close itself so right now I may need to work or condition that uh, that material and in the process I'm just concerned that I may um, wear it out a little bit. But at the bottom of that pack, which is reasonably generous, there's another drawstring but similarly it doesn't want to draw together. Coming down the front of the pack, I'll just do this quickly up here, give us some room. You've got a, a reasonably flat front pouch and then you've got the bottom pouch with double zip so we've got a, a, a pouch on the on the waist strap um, now we're going to try to adjust this China and I have got similar body height and we'll have a go at that in a sec there's also the sternum strap there and various clips to attach whatever you want jangling along with you when you're walking Right, so we'll do, make a bit of an adjustment here and see how that easy that is to do. So the, the harness system is made up of these uh, aluminium, aluminium bars. You have various sizes from one, two, three, all the way to eight. And there's various tensionings and things like that that we're still now trying to work out. So there's a, there's a strap there that can be tightened to take it up as high as you can. There's a double set of straps here that can be tightened to bring it down or to hold it in some sort of position. There's also side straps from the, the harness that will give you some height. And there's also um, girth straps there to, uh, to let it in or out as well as the strapping 
and clips you've got to make that. So there's, sorry, it's, you can't see that. So there's no shortage of adjustment. It's just no instructions and no way to know how to get the height and the length of the torso. When I got, just incidentally, when I got, when I got home, that particular clip was out and getting this aluminium bar from its housing here and its base housing was such a piece of work. It was so difficult. It took me about half an hour to get it undone and re redone. So we'll do some adjustments and get back to you. Just hang out, hang around and we'll see how far we can get it up. Okay, so one of the things that occurred to me as I was filming earlier, I didn't have my usual packing material so uh, this, uh, this gives a little bit better perspective on the, the size and the arrangement of the pack and how you can see it padded out. Now it took quite some ad uh, adjustment to get the pack as high as it is currently. Tyron and I have got similar torso lengths and it re we really struggled to keep the waist strap down and the pack up. It was actually down here. And then we fi finally found the adjustment to uh, to get it up the shoulders to a comfort level. Still not happy with the, the, the distance it's hanging out from the torso. Um, and you're going to really need to, to pack low to make this be a comfortable pack. I was ready to give it a fail, a complete fail, until we found the adjustments. So as far as movement goes, um, how's the movement, Ty? tight around the uh, I can't explain it those metal rods almost aren't bent in the right shape you okay. want to bend them another way well give them a bit of a tweak too so you can see the way they're bent there and that's yeah. what Tyron's talking about that could it could be something but I don't want to be spending this sort of money 80 bucks and having to go to uh, this sort of length I can buy a, I can buy a, a perfectly good pack um, for maybe just a little bit more or even on the special for the same sort of cost it almost feels a bit cheap doesn't it yeah it, it's it's a it's a spectacular piece of design once we found out all the design features it's a spectacular piece of design made with poor quality, poor quality or or last generation materials which give it a weight of uh, a dry weight of uh, of two and a half kilos um and so as a gear pack, and I'll be probably carrying about five kilos of gear, um, it'll work. Tripod down here into a drink holder, which is probably generous enough to actually have a, a small drink bottle in there as well. A little flat pack there, which, yeah, it's okay. Got the ability to put the stuff in the webbing. Going to tick all the boxes and do all the right stuff and has the volume 65 litres to, to get away with that. But um, let's have a look at the front. Webbing around here. There's adjustments for everything. It's just having a, a rocket science degree to know what they all do and how to make them work. So in a final summary, I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm going to reserve my judgment for a sec. I'll introduce Tyrone. What do you reckon, Ty? What, what do you think of the pack in general? I think it's good. I think it feels okay, but again, with those rods like we were talking about at the back, it almost feels a little bit cheap. But in saying that the design's great, it's practical. It would work. You know, with little pouches on the side here with zippers. You have your phone or, you know, if you're the YouTuber, the, the batteries. The batteries, yeah. You know, what were you saying about the clips, though? You, you felt just, that given other packs that we've got? Other packs that we have. This is just some cheap. You knock that on a rock once, it's going to break. So, so, do that. so they're fragile? So the clips, I think, I don't know, they're a bit cheap. They feel tacky. They feel, you know, mm. poor quality. If you knock that on a rock or throw it down too hard, it would probably break. <laughs> yeah. Or look, you can even get it jammed in the car on, on the way to where you're going. And that'll ruin your whole day, you know. Yeah. So, what if, if you... I, I've, I've got my judgment out of five. Two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. Design-wise, probably pushes up to three and a half. Okay. That's pretty much where I was going. I was going to yeah. give it a three. 
So we have a we have a two and a half. For average at three. That's average at three out of five for for this pack. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please share, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.